we're going to take four foot of 30 pound mono right here. This is four feet of 30 pound mono. There'll be three and a half feet of 15 pound mono and then three feet of six pound mono. And of the ones that we've used, uh, here's one I've normally been using, the Trilene 30 pound mono. Uh, also got a bunch of this Stren high impact monofilament mono, 30 pound, got 400 yards of it for a pretty good deal. Here's the 15 pound Stren, and this is high impact. Of the, of the tippet portion, I definitely just sticking with the Stren mono, mainly because it's got low memory and this one does roll really nicely. In the end is once everything's tied, it'll be three and a half foot of the 30 pound mono, three feet of the 15 pound mono, and two and a half feet of the six pound mono. Giving you a nine foot tapered leader. It's gonna be knotted, so in those times, especially when the cottonwood trees are shedding their little fluffy things, uh, you may need to go back to a knotted or knotless tapered leader. But for the most part, I've been able to use this throughout the season. Worked for trout, worked for bass work for bluegill they're not picky at least in our area less than a dollar to put one of these together uh, the main thing you have to do is buy the material at first like i think i end up spending like 20 something bucks for this stuff and then the tippet rings were like eight bucks other than that i've got enough to go for for a good while all right so let's get started okay the first thing they'll do is tie these pieces together the 30 pound and the 15 pound we'll be using a barrel or blood knot and you can look online how to do it. Uh, it's real simple, just put the two together and you'll be ready to go. What I'll do is I'll overlap the two lines in case the 30 and the 15 pound about a foot over each other, and then I'll grab it in the middle, and that's where I'll start my blood knot or barrel knot. And just tighten it up here after looping it with a little saliva, and there we go. There's the first section. By overlapping it by a foot, it basically cuts off that six inches which will get us the uh, uh, length that we wanted for both here shortly. And you can, if you want, put some, maybe some super glue or maybe some UV glue to just make it a little bit more smoother transition. I tend to just leave it as is and not worry about it. So the next thing is, is we'll tie in the tippet ring and a perfection loop. The tippet ring is going to go on the 15 pound test. The perfection loop is going to go on the 30 pound test test tag end. If you don't want to use a tippet ring, then just repeat the same thing you did with the blood knot or barrel knot with that six pound test and you'll be good to go. And here I'm just getting a, uh, here I'm just prepping a perfection loop. You can look online how to make one. I just got used to doing it over the years, so be done here shortly. All right, perfection loop. We just got to Trim the tag end. Okay, next up, we're gonna take the 15 pound test and we're gonna attach it to one of the tippet rings. In this case, this is a small tippet ring. It's a two millimeter, 25 pound test one that we picked up. Uh, I have different sizes, small. Uh, I think there's like medium and large. I tend to use a small one because where I'm fishing, I'm mainly just fishing for some smaller guys and I, I'm using this six pound tippet, so no biggie there. And when you get ready to, to do this, don't take the tippet ring off the swivel that it comes with, little snap swivel. Instead, tie your line onto the thing that's closest to the opening, tie it on there, and then and then at that point take it off and tie in the six pound test. So if you try taking it off now and try tying, it's gonna be very tough to to tie it on there. So keep it on the swivel when you when you tie it. Okay, so there it is. I've got the tippet ring attached to the 15 pound mono and still have the tag end and you can see I can take it off the swivel no problem. So at this point you'll take it off the swivel and then attach the six pound test. So it's off the swivel now. I still have the tag end and I kind of like leaving the tag end on there until I get the six pound test on there and then we'll clean it up. So there it is. I've got an improved clinch knot is what I used to attach the 15 pound test to the tippet ring and then I used a trilene knot on the 6 pound test and it tends to hold better. I'll clean this up and you can do again some of that UV style glue or super glue just to make it more friendly to any obstructions getting on there and uh, clobbering your line but I'll tend to just cut it and leave it as is.
Then we'll do a quick measure to make sure everything's where it is. This will be a little bit longer than two and a half feet when we're done, mainly because I like to have a little bit extra when I'm tying on the fly, but it'll end up at two and a half feet uh, when I do start fishing it, or, or sometimes I'll just play around with it. And then this section should be three feet, that's the 15 pound, and then this should be three and a half feet for the 30 pound test. And then with that, we'll do one last check once we get everything cleaned up. All right, so let's do a real quick check. Here is, let's put it on the end over here and measure this out. It's going to be three foot and five inches. So I'm off by an inch, but guess what? I'm still okay. This will still work. Let's go and take this knot and see where this lands. And this is taking it right exactly at the three foot. So we're still good there. Right here and then like I said on this one we're gonna have a little bit of extra on the two and a half feet it's gonna actually take me pretty far out and the reason why I like that is is it gives me some wiggle waggle between the two which is over here to my left and the three feet because I tend to use up a lot of line and cut it sometimes depending on how it's playing out uh, I'll even just tie it and leave it as is at the three feet and you'll see how that plays out Here's one of several fish caught when I tested the do-it-yourself fly fishing leader. It's casting nicely, it's laying down on the water, not spooking any fish, and guess what, we're even getting some bites, in this case got a nice size bluegill, also got a few bass as well. So uh, nice uh, stopping by for y'all to check out our video, and do check back, we've got more videos in the Getting Started in Fly Fishing series.